So we're gonna work on a couple of different attacks from the arm trap from the back. I'm on Marie's back. I'm playing underhook on top, so Marie's head's on top. We can do this with a body triangle or we can do this with long hook, short hook. So it's really up to yourself. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get a top hand position. So my hand is on top of Marie's hand. I wanna try avoid going to the forearm or wrist because it's just easier for Marie to rotate her hand and then maybe she might get top hand position and then it's kind of causing problems from here. So if we can get top hand position, we have more leverage and we control the hand a lot better. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna threaten the arm trap. So I'm gonna to look to push Marie's hand down towards her belly button. If her hand goes down towards her belly, I'm gonna bring my calf over, say my training partner's tricep and bicep. So it wants to be above the elbow and below the shoulder, here. I bring the heel in towards my belly. I can reinforce it with the second hand if I want. Ideally, what I wanna do is cross my feet up here. So I'm crossing my feet where I'm in a position where my feet are above my training partner's belt line and it should make it hard for them to go into like counter foot locks and, and different techniques like that. So a little trick here for freeing your hand, I'm gonna rotate my thumb up towards the ceiling and then I just slide my hand out here. Once we're in this position, I look to get the bite on the rear naked choke. I can grab, say, uh, the eyes, the nose, under the chin and just look to lift the head and then we can start to punch in our rear naked choke. So we have our back position, we're playing underhook on top. We can do this technique from a body triangle or we can do it from playing like long hook, short hook. I get top hand position, so I grip Marie's hand and I'm gonna threaten the arm trap by pushing the hand down towards the belly button. If this works, all I do is put the calf over the tricep and bicep, so I'm just going above the elbow and below the shoulder. I wanna get good connection with the heel into the stomach. If I want, I can just lock up, or I can cross my feet straight away. If you feel you need to, like say, use your second hand to say bring the leg higher or bring the heel towards the belly, you can do that as well. I cross my feet, once my feet are crossed, I rotate my thumb, I pull my thumb out, and now I'm gonna to start to work towards the rear naked choke. If I need the second hand to lift the head and to help the rear naked choke, we can do that as well. Second option here, we're gonna use the threat of the first technique. So I'm gonna go in with the top arm trap. So I'm trying to push Marie's hand down towards her belly button. If this doesn't work normally the way your training partner is gonna defend it is, they're gonna try to keep the hand outside the line of their rib cage. So if you can see from their armpit down towards their hip, because Marie knows that I wanna push the hand inside for arm traps. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna try to keep the hand outside. If she brings the hand outside, we have an arm trap and a submission behind the back from here. So all I do is use my hand to pull Marie's hand up towards my hip. You can see I'm flaring my knee here to create space. I pull the hand up towards the shoulder blade. On our first one, we're gonna do an arm trap, but it's gonna be an arm trap from the back. So you can see I'm gripping the hand here. We can go into different types of submissions here, which we'll talk about in a minute. I'm gonna use it to trap the arm. So I'm gonna keep a grip on the shoulder to stop Marie, say, rotating and trying to escape. I then get my chest to her back. I free my hand close my knee and then now we can start working for our rear naked choke from there. So again, trying to push the hand down towards the hip, I open up my knee, I create space so I can bring the hand outside. You can see I have good strong elbow position here on the shoulder just to control Marie. I bring the hand out towards my hip and then up towards Marie's shoulder blades. I can use my knee as well to pinch the elbow inwards. I can use two hands on the shoulders as well to get my chest to say Marie's back and now we can start working for a rear naked choke. So again, we're on our training partner's back, playing underhook on top. I'm gonna to play with long hook, short hook. I'm threatening the arm trap for the rear naked choke, so I'm trying to push the hand down towards the belly button. My training partner knows I'm trying to set this up, so they bring the hand outside the line of the hip. So you can see from the hip to the armpit. When this happens, I just open up my knee to create space. I bring the hand up towards the back. On our last one, what we did is we just gripped the shoulder, we pulled the shoulders in towards it, so we got chest to back connection, where we use this setup for an arm trap, where we can go into our rear naked choke. Really simple option from here, if someone doesn't have like, say, great shoulder mobility, we bring the hand outside, and then all we're gonna do is cup the shoulder here with the right hand. You can see I'm up, up on my elbow, and I'm just gonna pull this hand towards Marie's left shoulder. So left hand goes up towards left shoulder and controlling her shoulder and we can get a good tight finish from here. If you find that someone has 
good shoulder mobility or whatever it might be, just pull them back inside and then we can use it as an arm trap to finish our rear naked choke.